We all expect to see an immediate response from water for the environment and see it for a long time. That's what happens on our paddocks and gardens, but Mother Nature can be a bit different. When we're talking about trees, growth can be slow, but you can see it in their leaves. Gums are used to our conditions, so they won't put on a lot of growth straight away, unlike reeds in rivers that take advantage of every drop of water they can get. A lot of floodplain forests around the Murray River are home to some amazing aquatic vegetation, the kind of stuff you really don't see anywhere else. And this is what makes these places so special. This aquatic vegetation just loves it when there's water on the floodplain and springs up all over the place, and the fish love it too. These plants need to take advantage of the water when it's there, so they grow fast and reproduce. Once the water moves on or evaporates, the above ground parts of the plant die back, but their seed and root system stay underground, waiting for the next time there's water. With the flow washing away the red gum leaf litter, the understory can look barren after the water has gone. But it's anything but. The area is healthy and the water is doing its job. When the next flow is on, the vegetation will spring back to life. 